Morning Boss Talk. <clears throat> Listen, um, one of my close homies just buried his father a little over a week ago. A couple nights ago, he stopped by to holler at me. We sat in the car, and we, and we talked for a long time, and he began to vent about the hurt, how it feels, um, you know, to lose his dad. And, and, and he just was vent, just vent, you know. And but every two, three minutes, he kept saying, my bad, bro. I don't mean to I don't mean to wrap your head off. I don't mean I don't mean to put all my problems on you. And I'm like, bro, you've been my man for almost 30 years. Why would I not be here to listen to you talk about what's hurting you? Now, I do a lot of counseling, so I'm used to it anyway. But the thing I want to address today is like, why did he feel like expressing his emotions to a close friend is some kind of burden. And um, brothers, we we got to start to open up, man. Like we can't keep holding everything in. Uh, I always liken it to a bottle of soda. I don't know why I started doing it, but like I would drink like 85% of the soda. And once I got like that much left, I would shake the bottle. And when I shake the bottle, even though it was only that much soda in there, the bottle would get real tight and then I would throw it away. And I always think about men as an, uh, uh, a parallel to that It's like We just get shaken And shaken And shaken And shaken By all the things That we got to deal with And then As soon as You crack the lid A little bit We explode Last night man Just thinking about The whole Nipsey situation Cause I I, I ain't gonna Be honest You know I always been Transparent with y'all I talk to y'all about Dealing with alcoholism, dealing with depression, uh, dealing with, um, you know, saying being suicidal. I've been transparent by earth. That's one thing about me because I need to find ways to vent a little bit. Sometimes I use social media. Sometimes I go too far. And sometimes I'm wrong. I think last night some of the things I said to people was wrong. And, uh, and I, and I want to apologize to folks because, you know what I mean, um, I got to be, I got to be bigger. But the whole Nipsey situation just, it really struck a chord. To think about somebody who is, is fighting for the cause and get killed, and then you can see yourself in that situation. You know, those videos on my page and videos around, you see me on the front line. Like situations go down and, and, and folks call me, and I'm, I'm the one the cops is looking at. I'm the one everybody waiting for to come before they say or do anything. And I'm literally on the front line and at any of those moments, I could die. But what I'm, you know, what I'm, what I'm dying for. Now think about Darren Seals and all the other brothers from Ferguson, the, all the other activists that got killed. Think about uh, um, Corin Gaines getting killed, a part of the revolution, and then everybody talking crazy about her afterwards. Everybody uh, questioning her parents. And think about the young sister who body just got found, who was an activist, and to see that. It could potentially be you, man. It, it it will drive you to act crazy, you know. But brothers, as this boss talk, man, as we talking about bossing up, man. To be a boss means to be in control of situations. We gotta stop doing things that cause us to lose control. And one of the things that cause us to lose control is the fact that we won't open up. Now. To all my brothers in the revolution, I know we got sisters in the revolution too, but our sisters, our queens, y'all y'all know how to vent to each other and talk about what's going on. To all my brothers that's in the struggle, man, I know the situ this Nipsey situation hits you hard. I know the death of any activist or any revolutionary hits you hard, man. And, and, and you might feel like, you know, you about a ticking time bomb. You about to explode because you ain't really vent. Listen, find somebody to vent to. Y'all can, you can, you can hit me up. You can talk to me because, shoot, I might need to talk to you, you know, because I know how just, just looking at that brother dead and knowing what he stood for, knowing you stand for the same thing and knowing that that could be your fate. Now, I've been conditioned to, to, to be okay to die for something. I learned that in the streets, but at least in the streets, I knew if somebody killed me, the dudes from my block was going to do something about it. When we sit back as folk who really fight for the liberation of black people and we think about giving our lives for the struggle and then life just goes on as usual, it's like, well, what do we die for? What do we sacrifice 
days and nights for when we could have just been selfish and greedy and just live lives for ourselves. But no, we decided to fight for the people because it was necessary. But then those people are going to watch you starve, then watch you die, and then it ain't going to mean nothing. But to my brothers in the struggle, my brothers in general, listen, we have to open up about our emotions because if you don't open up about your emotions, you are a ticking time bomb and I already know I am. So I'm gonna be transparent about it. Every once in a while, you'll see I goes off on social media and that's because I be holding stuff in. I don't be having nobody. To, I don't be having nobody to talk to and I just be dealing with so much stuff that's in my head and, and like I think about dying all the time. I think about that. Now, what? If I die for the cause, who gonna take care of my daughter? She's already sacrificed so much because so much of my time goes to other people's children because so much of my time goes to other adults. And this is what we deal with as revolutionaries. It's what we deal with as activists or whatever you wanna call us. Brothers, open up, talk to somebody. Please hit me up. Um, you know, because we we can't lose control because we got so much hurt on the inside of us that we never dealt with. In fact, I was talking to my pastor last night. I said, Pastor, I I need to sit down. I need some counseling with you. I need I need some counseling with you because I I understand. I, now I'm struggling with some stuff. Um, so that's just my piece today. That's today's boss talk. I talk to y'all tomorrow.